Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Fundu Testers. In this, we are going to discuss about a different type of variables we have in a Postman and how those variables are useful and where we are going to use these variables and why we need to use this variable in a postman to make our life easy so let's see in details so i'm on a postman documentation and here we can see there are multiple variables available uh, on a postman so like a global variable collection variable environment data and local variable so collection or global level variable enabled you to access data between the collection request test scripts or environment so it's a globally like a global variable available throughout the workspace here we have created a youtube workspace so if i create a global level variable so whatever collections i have for example this is the one collection like this i can add multiple collections so global variable scope is global all the collections can use the same variables now there is another variable which is a collection level variable so collection variable are restricted to appropriate collection so if i create a collection level variables the scope will be only for this particular collection now there is a environment level variables basically purpose of a environment level variable is let's say we have this particular collection and this collection is pointing to the test environment now we wanted to test all these APIs on a different uh, server like a new environment or sandbox environment or a UAT environment then every time we have to go to a particular API and we have to change the base URI later on only we can update or we can test this particular API so to avoid that we can store we can have a environment level variable we can store this URL into environments we can easily switch to different environment and we can test our APIs and another is a uh, data variable like from a CSV or JSON data we are exporting or importing something like a runtime dynamic data we have so from that also we can directly fetch. for that we have a data variables and last we have a local variables so in this we will discuss how we can create a collection level variables and how we can create a environment level variable so first understand what is a variable so basically variables like for this get api we have multiple parameters like a page is equal to two so similar fair variable stores two value one is a key and one is a value for example let's say i have a url so url will go with a key and value of url will go with a value so we'll see how this is going to work so first we will go to the collection level we need to click on the collection and there is an option to store a variable so for example let's say i wanted to store a, a url so i can just define a base underscore url or simply we can give a URL or uh, whatever win winning full name we wanted to give we can give and we can delete the data here so for example as of now I have given the name value as a URL and I wanted to pass this data so for each and every API so you can see till API is a common but here the base URI is up to in so this dot in slash this is the base URI so I am copying this and I am storing this data into a value and here also we can see there are two values initial value and current value so what is the difference between the initial value and current value so this collection is used by entire team my all the team members are using this collection so initial value we can set as something and those value will be static for example if i have stored this particular url so it will sync with all the laptops all the machines like uh, my friend machine my developers machine another another tester machine and this value will be static but for example let's say instead of url i wanted to do some experiment i or i wanted to do some testing around that variable then i can use as a current value and that will be limited to the local so for example global scope again for multiple machines we have to for that initial value we have and then later on current value will come now i have stored a url here and uh, i wanted to use in the all the apis then simply first i need to click save i need to save the collection so that value has been saved now i need to use so again we have to make sure we have given up to slash so from the url we need to remove up to slash up to slash we have to remove and then we have to write in a double flower braces so one two here one two we have to start and we have end so now it is showing an unresolved variable that variable is not able to found so if i pass the variable 
and now it is variable is correct so if i click you can see it is a c which means it is coming it, it is coming from collection and initial value and current value so if i execute this and if i send this so i can see here the url value has been changed a similar way i can update this url value with the all the api so basically i can go to the post api and i can simply pass this like this and i can save this so it is updated now i can go to another apis and i can do the same thing so url i have made my url is a dynamic it's a collection level data but the now problem is i cannot have this this is the i have given the example but i cannot switch the environment for example i wanted to again use for a test environment or another environment then i have given the one url so it is uh, if i give another name for example here this is applicable for a test environment and i am again giving a name dev environment then again i have i am passing some uh, values xyz xyz but this value if i wanted to use for certain things and this api I just wanted to change the environment then again every time i need to go and again every time i need to change a variable so we have to design such a way that if it is a that variable is applicable for each and every environment so like if i go to the get the page page value page value can be same for each and every environment or uh, if i go to the create user and create user body so if i'm working on this api if i'm working on a test environment or whatever environment the name key or uh, for example user some data has to be the unique for each and every environment so those data i can store as a collection variables but environment i need to change this data to environment to environment so would be good that i can move this data to environment so now we'll see how we can do that but before that we will run this apis and we can see after passing this data also we are able to execute this request so here i am going to close this and if i rem if i go to the collection level and if i delete this data and save this then again i'll open the data so here it is showing a red it is popped up with the red color and if i click on this so it is saying an unresolved variable now we are going to pass this data with environment so here we can see there is an option to environment and if i click on this drop down it is saying a no environment and uh, there is a one button create a quick look environment quick look if i click on this so there is option to add a data so if i click on add and i can add test environment test over test server or test environment whatever and the similar way whatever value we have given there we can pass all the daily values here like a url and initial value and current value so this type there will be secret and default as of now we are giving a default name that also we will understand in a detail but as of now understand the similar way uh, there also we have given the key value pairs value will be the name whatever i am going to fetch and initial value and current value concept is same initial value and current value but here i have defined something and i am going to store this now if i go to the api it is saying uh, still it is saying uh, unresolved variable but if i go to the variables i can see test environment variable earlier it was a uh, uh, not there now if i can select this test environment and you see the magic simply i have selected and this error has resolved now it is saying it is coming from a e earlier that was a c which means it was coming from a collection now it is coming from a environment and uh, initial value and scope and everything is same and we can simply run this we can simply run all the apis we have not made changes from api level but simply we have just updated the environment we have added the environment and it is reflected with the, all the apis so if those are if there are 100 apis or thousands apis everywhere the data will be reflected automatically so now you see how easy it is to work with the apis and store the data with the api so it is it will make our life easier so again all the data has been changed and uh, we can trigger the multiple apis now you think that i said we can add multiple environments but here there is no option to add multiple environments so here if i go to the collection there is a one tab to select the environments 
now we have given this environment data and uh, I can add multiple environments. So if I create a new environment and simply I'm giving it name dev environments and uh, again I'm specifying a URL. But here this time I'm giving a dummy URL XYZ and I'm saving a collection. And now we have two collection dev environment and test environment. So for example, for a test environment, we are able to trigger our APIs. If I go back to the collection, I'm going to get request. We can see all the APIs and the data is coming from a correct URL it is coming from now we are switching the environment and we are passing a dev environment so for dev we have passed the xyz so there also it should reflect we'll see just over there and now we can see the xyz xyz current and initial value like this we can switch to the multiple environment and if I click on the send so it should fail because the URL is invalid and if I again go back to the test then again it is working now if we are working on this and uh, let's say I, I have saved this collection but this environment will be there in my machine only if it is not synced on a server so again I need to go to the environment and uh, there is option to export uh, environments so similar way I need to export an environment and I need to share with my team member as well so remember if you're working on a postman and you have environments created then make sure that along with uh, sharing a collection with your teammates please share environment detail as well otherwise without environment deta uh, details this collection is useless so far we have a basic understanding of uh, collection level variables and environment level variables and purpose of these two uh, variables and where we can use these variables and if you have any doubt feel free to ask me in my comment section and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe fundu tests thank you so much